Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. So today I wanted to answer an audience question about uh, thyroid cancer risk with Ozempic. So Ozempic is in a class of medication called GLP-1 agonists. So GLP-1 agonists, um, the way that they work is they increase the amount of insulin coming out of the pancreas in response to blood glucose. Um, so uh, GLP-1 is a hormone and hormones sometimes have cancer risks because um, ca uh, tumor cells will often have receptors on them that respond to hormones and can cause uh, can cause tumor growth and can lead to um, um, cancer. So often if, if somebody maybe has a subclinical case or they have um, something that maybe was just going to go away and they add some kind of a ex exogenous hormone or some kind of substance it can cause a cancer to proliferate. Um, and I think that is what is happening with um, in very rare cases in uh, with drugs like Ozempic, um, Trulicity, and Victoza, some, some thyroid cancers respond to GLP-1 hormone and so you're adding kind of more, G basically more GLP-1 and that can cause an increase in um, cancer. So these, these thyroid C-cell tumors are not super common. Um, and there, there wasn't that much. There, there wasn't that much um, thyroid cancer seen in these in these clinical trials. Um, I looked at Ozempic, um, Bieta, Victoza, Saxenda, and um, Victoza and Saxenda had the most that I could see um, based on the clinical trial. Um, but there's risks with all of them. I don't think Sanxenda and Victoza are the only ones with risks, with thyroid cancer risks. It's possible just because they have more people in their studies. Uh, Sanxenda had a big study. Um, Victoza uh, had four people that developed thyroid cancer and Sanxenda had seven people, but the Sanxenda study was, was much larger. Um, so. Uh, because of the larger study, they actually saw some thyroid cancer. Most of the people that did develop thyroid cancer had um, uh, something called an elevated calcitonin levels before um, taking the drug. So elevated ca calcitonin is um, a biological marker of thyroid C cell tumors. And um, so the fact that it was elevated before before they started the medication might indicate that there was some disease there present, and that the uh, the the drug actually just made it worse. Um, I think that's usually going to be the case. Um, it doesn't mean that it's you know it's not bad, but it just means that uh, there was some disease there already, and then that the uh, the medication made it worse. So I wanted to show you guys the. This is the um, this is the Victoza package insert. You can see um, that there were four cases of thyroid CCL hyperplasia um, in the trial, or 1.3 cases per a thousand patient years. And basically, this just states that um, I think all almost all of the patients that developed the uh, developed the um, thyroid C-cell cancer had uh, extremely high calcitonin levels before they received the drug. Um, so like I said before, that would indicate that there was some disease present already. Another interesting thing is that Victoza on its own will um, elevate uh, calcitonin. So uh, one point nine percent of patients that took Victoza saw uh, a significant increase in calcitonin. It doesn't mean that there was cancer, it just means that uh, it caused some kind of a activity in the thyroid hormone to release this other hormone, um, some activity in the thyroid gland to release this hormone calcitonin. So all GLP-1 um, agonists carry this black box warning about um, thyroid cancer and the um, uh, something called MEN2 or multiple, multiple endocrine neoplasia 
syndrome type 2, which is uh, a genetic tendency to basically get a certain kind of cancer and one of them being thyroid cancer. So it makes sense that you wouldn't want somebody like that on a GLP-1 hormone. So I hope you guys found this discussion interesting. I hope it is, uh, is useful to anybody who is concerned about the thyroid cancer risk um, with drugs like Ozempic, like Saxenda, Trulicity, um, Bieta, all of these uh, GLP-1 agonists, um, they're usually, you know, pen injectors. I hope you guys found this interesting and found it useful. Um, if you have any comments or any, any questions, uh, please leave them in the, um, in the comments section. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and please subscribe. It'd be great to have you as, uh, as, uh, as a subscriber. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.